Time for us, well, finally, time for us to uh, hook up with our online team, digital media team, digital news team. No, no, isn't that right, Michael? That's correct, Evan. That's Michael Salzbedel and Seppo Tiole, who's with us. Guys, interesting week behind us. Michael, what are the, what are the, the, the big points? Yeah, obviously, the top story you know, this week is the budget. So obviously, it's on everyone's minds. Everyone's talking about it. It's, um, happening yesterday we had a special report have a special report running on our mm -hmm. website um, if you missed it or would like to catch highlights you can catch uh, videos on our YouTube channel as well we uh, we've got views from the public uh, we've got a photo gallery we've got a transcript of the speech and so on so visit our website sabc.ca news for more on the budget um, then just interesting to compare some of the figures that came out of the budget speech to yeah. the Facebook WhatsApp deal mm. last week 19 billion dollars equating to around 210 billion Rand um, Praveen announced yesterday in his speech that the government has spent 115 billion rand on higher education in the past five years, which is yeah. just over half of the value of the Facebook WhatsApp deal, which is quite interesting. The government also spent 100 billion on employment programs over the last five years, yeah. again, uh, under half of what you know, WhatsApp is worth, and 43.5 billion rand on HIV and AIDS programs for the next uh, three years which is less than a quarter of what Facebook paid, paid for WhatsApp. So that's really something interesting to note. It's then really scary, the numbers, actually, huh? in the market. I mean, it puts into context that our entire half budget is sort of something like that. A, a quarter of the worth of WhatsApp. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> Just interesting to note some uh, responses on, on Facebook. We put out a question this morning asking people, what do they think of the budget speech? Yeah. Um, just two examples. Boyke Franklin said, Aish, they don't want us to smoke, drink, or drive anymore. <laughs> and Sekatale Matata <laughs> said, the budget speech itself is perfect, but, they, but can they deliver or implement what they're promising? I'm not convinced at all. Yeah. We all know how they operate, especially when the elections are just around the corner. Yeah. But we as voters must not fall for temporary tricks. Yeah, that's true. So. I think that's going, to be the, that's going to be the party line now. But, you know, some guys say at the thousand rand a bottle, whiskey is still a bargain. Uh, uh, isn't that so, Tsepo? <laughs> Wanted to ask you about the biggest story in our lives, uh, probably, oh no, that was, uh, that was two months ago when we had the funeral. The second biggest story in yeah. South Africans' lives. Oscar Pistorius starts on Monday. Tell us, uh, you've got an interesting take on it. You're gonna, we're going to do a whole digital splash on it, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, that's true. Um, you know, Eben, um, this is one of the... Uh, uh, what I'm what I going to say is that for this year, this is going to be the second biggest story of the Air Force of Africa. That yeah. is after the general elections that are coming up uh, in May. Uh, but you must remember, um, even we saw during the, the bail application period for Oscar Pistorius, mm -hmm. it was huge. It's still going to be huge. The media is going to be ha having a field day on this one. There's going to be a couple of interesting uh, aspects coming through, you know, on, 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 on the trial itself. Um, as Digital News will be covering this, we have a special report up, uh, but we're still populating it. It's not live as yet, Michael. Um, we also will be doing uh, colorful stories on it. We'll be yeah. running a lot of social media on it. So we'll be having a, a representative team at the, at the court. We'll be having um, people inside, and then other, some of us will be reporting from outside. Um, we'll also be having, um, we'll be treating from the side. You know, we'll be sharing you know, people's views. We're having experts. Um, on site who are willing to share information with us, their opinions um, on what's going to be happening with us. Um, so, yeah, we, 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 we're ready for this, and then uh, we're looking forward to be sharing, you know, some important aspects with regards to the trial with uh, members of the public. So, Michael, SABC News is going to be the place to be if you want to get any updates or any original content, really, on uh, the Oscar Pistorius trial from next week. That's correct. We'll have extensive coverage. Um, Chapel and the team will, will be there providing unique angles and so keep an eye on our YouTube channel and our website. Yeah, We always do. We, you, know, you guys do a fantastic uh, job. But thank you for joining us today, Michael Salzfedel and uh, Tsepo Tsiolo, telling us about well, what's happening in the world of social media the last, couple of, uh, the last couple of days and also what you can expect next week. It should be very interesting. Of course, we'll uh, let you know on Monday morning how we're going to go for the, for the rest of the week. But that's where we're going to wrap it today. Thanks for joining us. The show is broadcast live every weekday morning between 9 and 10 a.m. Highlights are repeated at 2 in the afternoon with a rebroadcast then at 5 a.m. the following morning. We're also streaming live on YouTube between 9 and 10 a.m. every day with the entire show available on our YouTube channel all of the time. And that means you can watch it anywhere in the world at any time at your leisure. This is SABC News. You've been watching Newsroom, where we love it in the morning.